Respected judges and mentors, thank you for giving us an opportunity to present our ideas about protecting pedestrians at night. We are all sixth graders from Hopkins Middle School. We're excited to present our ideas and grateful to the organizers for arranging this very interesting competition. Our team is the Hawkeye Traffic Safety Squad. Our team members are Cal Vanderlo, Siddharth Mukherjee, myself, Tanush Chaksi, and Vihan Morab. Our proposed solution will cover the problem pedestrians face, proposed solutions, how we engage with community members, and explain the benefits with SWOT analysis. From 2009 onwards, American railroads have become overwhelmingly dangerous for pedestrians, especially at night. While other strong nations have managed to decrease this death rate, it's been on a steady rise in the U.S., making an effective solution crucial. In part, this is due to American infrastructure. Highways and internal roads have been designed to enable speeding cars, with no plans to design or even consider nighttime safety. In 2021 alone, more than 7,000 pedestrians died in America. This meant that a pedestrian was in a fatal accident every 71 minutes. Our focus is on nighttime. As seen on the statistics in the last slide, most pedestrian deaths occur at night. Not only are pedestrians harder to see at night given that the streets aren't well lit, but this issue is aggravated with drivers easily getting distracted with all the built-in tech in cars, even a split second difference can be crucial to a life. Our proposed ideas are designed as part of a comprehensive solution, all with the aim of providing safer and sustainable traffic flow, especially at pedestrian crossings, thereby encompassing the safe system approach and sustainable principles of Vision Zero. Our multifaceted solutions range from holographic signals, lighted crosswalks, retractable bollards, a driverless mini shuttle, and kinetic tiles. These solutions help reduce pedestrian injury and deaths in a sustainable way. While coming up with these solutions, we considered how quickly they can be implemented given that we have a goal of zero deaths by 2030, the ease of implementation, the cost, impact to environment, as well as the ability to leverage the existing infrastructure. Here are our visual light gate solutions that appear in the direct view of a driver's vision. A lighted red strip pictured on the left, a holographic stop sign, both can be implemented at an intersection that it needs higher visibility. In the lights work using sensors and laser technology and cost roughly about $2,000 to $8,000 for both systems. These holographic signals are quick to turn on and off. Holographic signage can be used in tunnels with significant amount of traffic, with accidents, breakdowns, fires, and odd situations like vehicles running out of fuel. Whereas lighted red strip is great for warning cars from hitting pedestrians. This system works best at night. If weather is foggy or rainy, these lights may not be clear. The laser light may require special permits as it is a new technology. Individuals might choose not to go through as the light is something new. This idea could be implemented in two ways, such as having a dedicated light installed on the RRFP poles that focus the light to the bottom or that focus the light side to side, like in the images. The lights switch on whenever a pedestrian walks on the crosswalk. The total cost for this solution is about $4,000, including two RRFP units, solar panels, and installation. These lighted crosswalks are MUTCD compliant. It uses white LED lights as it has a higher visibility in the night. The LED is a rectangular rapid flashing beacon, or RRFB, light bar. The life expectancy of these lights are about 100,000 hours, or 11 years, so there will be less maintenance. These lights can be powered by a number of energy forms, such as solar, kinetic, or AC. The lighted crosswalks have multiple ways of implementing it, such as putting LED strip lights in the crosswalks or having light boxes that reflect light onto the crosswalk. Introducing retractable bollards, smart, space-efficient solutions for urban areas. They rise or lower on demand, powered by hydraulic and pneumatic systems for ease and efficiency. Ideal for busy cities, but they're cost-effective at roughly $239 to $590 each and require minimal maintenance. A sleek, practical choice for modern traffic control and pedestrian safety. Looking at retractable ballers, let's dive into our SWOT analysis. Strength, our system excels with automated rapid access control, easily integrating with smart traffic solutions and providing immediate response in emergencies. Weaknesses, we're working on mitigating the higher initial costs and system complexities with necessary regular maintenance for reliable operation. Opportunities, the surge in demand for automated urban solutions shows great opportunities for partnering with city planners for safety and security innovations. Threats, economic variability may tighten the infrastructure budget and we must stay vigilant against potential control system failures. This SWAT framework will steer our strategies to enhance product reliability and market competitiveness. Every year, the majority of traffic-related deaths are due to cars crashing with pedestrians at blind turns. 
Our next proposal is an unorthodox solution that includes a driverless mini shuttle called Quick Cross. This vehicle is specifically designed to transport people at blind intersections and at elevated crossings such as hills. It is much less likely for a car to miss a shuttle compared to a pedestrian. Quick Cross will be battery powered and will include a hard body with basic sensors. It will run on wheels on a fixed path and in fixed directions, programmed to run at night in high traffic areas with a minimum of two lanes on each direction. The four sensors placed on either side and at the front and back will stop the shuttle from moving forward if it detects motion. Quick Cross will be electric battery powered to run 5,000 miles on a single charge and will be replaced every two weeks. We approximate that the one-time cost for each shuttle will be around $8,500. There will be an additional recurring operational and maintenance cost of about $1,500 per shuttle. Assuming a city will purchase about 10 shuttles in a high accident prone areas, the overall cost will be around $100,000. The key strength of the solution lies in minimizing accident likelihood without additional infrastructure or personnel. We can leverage the increasing trend towards autonomous self-driven shuttles and public education to further enhance adoption. The chief weakness lies in obtaining the relevant government permits, and enforcement would be vital to the adoption of this solution. Our crosswalk solution features kinetic cells that produce sustainable reusable energy, reducing our reliance on fossil fuels. Kinetic cows are currently in use in 16 different countries, including the US. They work by harvesting the kinetic energy created by humans walking. Let's start with strengths and opportunities. Kinetic tiles like those manufactured by PaveGen are easy to install, are cost efficient at roughly $70 per square foot, and are durable, lasting up to 20 years without maintenance. We see the use of kinetic tiles as an opportunity for cities to expand projects to be more self-sustainable. Weaknesses include having limited sources for kinetic tiles. However, this is changing as more manufacturers come to the market and bring down the cost. Another threat includes low foot traffic, which can be mitigated by having backup solar panels or other self-sustaining energy sources. Now we present a video simulation we created and modeled using Roblox Studio. In the video, we will show how all of our ideas come together to form one uniform environment, which is safe and operational for both sides of the road, vulnerable users and drivers. First. We will show a scenario of an intersection without any of our solutions implemented. As you can see, the pedestrian is severely injured and possibly dead. Notice how our shuttle prevents a fatality. You'll also see holographic signals that alert drivers as well as the kinetic tiles that offer power to signals and shuttles. Now, let's take a look at the retractable, automated bollards. When activated, they are strong enough to stop a moving vehicle. Now we will be taking a look at the lighted crosswalk. The enhanced lighting provides clear visibility of the pedestrian crossing. Let's talk about our community's response to our ideas. We conducted a survey in Fremont targeting pedestrians and drivers of the various ages and ethnicities and asked them how safe they felt with our solutions. Respondents agreed with implementing lighted crosswalks, kinetic energy tiles, along with the shuttle at dangerous intersections. Today, I'll focus on three notable findings for the solutions we thought would be the hardest to implement. On the top two graphs, you'll notice that most survey respondents voted four to five to implementing our quick cross solution. They also agreed to fund and pay for maintenance of a shuttle through a local yearly tax. We also had an overwhelming 96% approval of our holographic street signal solution that would improve lighting. Next, we would like to jump into how our community will get impacted if our solutions are implemented. Cities are complex and our solutions rise to meet that challenge. We provide safety that adapts to weather and darkness, enhancing visibility when it's crucial. Addressing unique city corners from blind spots to busy streets, our technology safeguards pedestrians and drivers alike, day and night. Sustainability isn't an afterthought. It's built into our energy efficient designs. Our smart green solutions fit seamlessly into the urban fabric, providing that safety and ecological responsibility can go hand in hand for a future-proof city. Our timely, economical, and easy-to-implement solutions help communities feel more safe and protected, both while crossing intersections and while driving through them. Here is an extensive list of our resources we referred to while researching our solutions. Thank you for the opportunity and patiently listening to us. We hope you have enjoyed our ideas. We truly appreciate our mentors' time, effort, and guidance. Thank, Thank you. you. And hop on.